Listen, we all make mistakes, don't we? Yeah, well, that was a pretty stupid one, even for me. Oh, well. How's things with you and Kev? Yeah, good. We talked everything through. Everything? No, not everything. Obviously, I didn't mention the fact that I'd made a move on you. Yeah, I just think it's better if we keep that between ourselves. Nobody else needs to know, because Carla might explode, you know? I mean, she's already a bit suspicious. Anyway, as far as I'm concerned, that never happened, right? Jalapenos and rocket. Oh, delish. Thanks, love. See you later. Oh, hello, Peter. How's things with you? Oh, you know, not so bad considering. Thanks. Oh, that's good. I am pleased. Hey, I tell you, he's had it rough, though. Abby. Yeah, yeah. Kevin told me she didn't cope well with confinement. Sounds like she was bored, to be honest. Well, <laughs> weren't we all? Oh, yeah, but she's proper messed up, isn't she? Eh? <laughs> Lost her kids, ex druggy. Well, it's like you said, she's had it hard, yeah. Lucky she's got you, then, eh, to talk to. Comfort her when she's struggling. Give her a bit of fun every now and then, eh? Is everything all right, Debbie? No, it isn't. Right. You see, I get very stressed when I find out my brother's girlfriend's been knocking off the local grease ball. Nobody's knocking anybody off, Debbie. Really? Really, yeah. Because I heard you two were quite an item back in the day. Two little lovebirds rocking the boat till it got torched. Yeah, we were. Now we're just mates. But funny that, cos I've got mates, but I don't go around leading them on. I didn't lead her on. She propositioned me, she'd had a drink, and I said no, and that's it. And what did Carla say when you told her? Oh, you lying scumbag. There was no point in me telling Carla because there was nothing to tell her, all right? Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen now. You are going to stay away from Abby and Kevin, or I'm going to walk up and down that street, ring every doorbell, and let all your friends and neighbours know that you've been back to your old tricks again. All right? All right. Right, I've got to pick Jack up. Right, Tom. I'll see you later. Are you all right? You barely said a word all day. I'm just thinking about stuff. Well, you need to talk about anything. I'm here for you. I know. Thanks, Kev. Hey. All right. What are you doing here? I need a word. Why? What's up? Why didn't you tell me that Debbie knew about you coming on to me? What did you tell Debbie for? Oh, it'll be right. In what universe will it be right? Does she not say out? You trust her? Yeah, she's sound, yeah. Yeah, well, you don't even believe it yourself. I do. I'm going to have to tell Carla. No. No, I can't have a finding out from someone else. She will go on the walls. Well, not if I explain to her what happened properly that you invited me to a hotel room. Oh, thanks. I, well, I've got to be straight with her. Yeah, and then she'll tell Kevin that'll be it. It'll be over between us. Oh, don't say out, please. You can trust Debbie. Believe me. I've just bumped into Tom Reed. Oh, great. Then you met him, then? He said you chatted to him. And me. And wasted his time. What? Uh, no, no, we were just trying to um, keep him occupied until one of you lot got here. I don't have a meeting with Tom Reed. I know, but Sarah did. Like I said, not me. I know, but uh, Sarah's car broke down. Yeah, so we were filling in until one of you got back. Oh, uh, well, luckily, I got him to reschedule then. Uh, it wasn't luck. Sorry, hello. And you are? <laughs> you only happened to bump into him because Michael kept him here. And me. OK, what's going on? Well, Michael was doing you a favour. And me. Keeping him here, hoping you'd get back. Well, look, had nothing to do with it. He was only helping. And me. So... I'm glad you used your initiative to save the day. I'm sorry. And thank you. It's all right. All right, well, uh, back to work then, invisible woman. I know better than anyone what a complete nightmare I am, trust me. But and, and, and I know it's me who's messed up, not you. And I am in no position whatsoever to ask you for a favour. But I am begging you, please, do not tell Carla. Well, of course, I don't want to mess things up for you and Kev. So don't say Alvain. But I can't risk it. Why do I always mess things up? Oh, no, you, you don't mess things up. Oh, because of drugs? 
When things are bad, it's like, what's the point? Go and get something. And when things are good, it's like you're strong, you're in control. Go and get something. Tell me about it. I know. Oh, I know, you know. They're the same, me and you. Except I've got better hair. Hello, Pete. Hey. I've just had a nightmare of a breakdown. You and me both. Hey. What? Oh, Sarah's car? Yeah. Did you manage to get it started? No, nope. I had to tow it. She needs it back ASAP, so I'm gonna crack on. First job, though, kettle. Presume that's broke, too. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll stick it on, then. What's that? I, I know I said about not helping you, but... You know, it is good to have somebody around who understands addiction, and if this got out, then I, I would imagine Carla won't ever let me see you again. But, you know, like you with the drugs, you know, it'll help me when the alcohol starts talking. So, uh, maybe, probably is better if we don't say how, eh? 